All right, all right. So here we are. Here we are. All right, finally. All right. That's the Love Bites fan talk. We got uh, Hades here. A name I can remember. Yeah. Easy one. <laughs> Easy one to remember when you're very familiar with the devil. Or wait, is he the devil? <laughs> hey, I mean, kind of. So, I mean, does it matter? <laughs> All right, so here we are, guys. We're talking about love bites. Uh, Hades is a, uh, I think, is a super fan of love bites. Is that right? Love bites and several other bands from Japan. Yeah. Like baby metal, like baby metal? Hanabi, Hagane, all yeah. these bands that we all love. Yeah, those bands are really great. I like a lot of them too. Okay, um, but love bites has a special place. Uh, they really do. Which, by the way, by the way, I know this show is really, this episode's about you, Hades. I just want to say, you know that Baby Metal Love Bites picture? Oh, yeah, I was there, man. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you, you you were there. I was at the at the resurrection phase where it happened. Maybe they were 200 meters away from me. Together at the same time? Well, they were in the backstage area with where the artists were, but I was around the stage. Oh my God, dude! dude that that's amazing. That's amazing to hear. Oh, dude! That, I that... thought they they will never allow to Koba to to make that picture, but it seems it happened. Man, well, I was gonna say I thought what I was gonna say was impressive. I was gonna say that I uh, I will have a, a a canvas of that picture uh, coming my way soon. And it's gonna be on my wall, okay? <laughs> In fact, it, it, I think it, I think it arrived today. Uh, I received the package, but oh, I didn't cool. open it. So, yeah, I think I will mark it too. Yeah, that one and the one I got in the VIP with the girls. Those two I want to make. Okay. No. Okay, I, I gotta, I gotta start. Okay, <sighs> okay, okay. But first, first, all right. So you are a Love Bites super fan. You know, I know you like other bands too. But, um, so how many shows have you seen this year? Yeah, since they, they came to Europe in yeah. the 14th of June, they started. I went to London first. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, then to Belgium, Milan in Italy, and this fourth one at Resurrection Fest. That was the last one. So it's for four of them. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, because I'm a little slow here, but that's four. Yeah, a four live shows. Dude, that is absolutely amazing. Um, Very cool. And, and you got to see them from, like, uh, smaller venues to, to like, large, big, uh, you know, um, a festival venue. So, oh, man, uh, where do you want to go with that? <laughs> I guess, uh, tell me what it was like seeing them at kind of, like, um, I won the smaller venues. Yeah, because we started seeing them uh, on London at the New Cross Inn. No, that's famous because it was a it was a, a dive bar, literally. <laughs> it was a dive bar. Oh, yeah, a, pl a place where local punk bands usually play. So it was really weird to see ba low bites there, man. Really weird. It was pretty weird, but pretty cool that there was a bar right there. Uh, see, let me ask you, in that venue, in that New Cross venue, being how, how small it was, could you have been mm -hmm. at the bar drinking while listening? Uh, like, like, a sound, like a venue that small, it sounds like the, the music would be everywhere, like dominating everything, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was really weird because uh, I, when I arrived, it was they were doing the sound test, so I entered the bar, and yeah. it was just a small London bar, and you, you had there in the stage... Miyako playing, Asami, on casual clothes, and what what is going on here, man? Oh, pretty cool. You, you open that, that door to order a beer or something, and yeah. then you see Asami there and Miyako. Man, that is so cool. What a, so it was you, an experience. I bet so. I mean, tell me more about that because you were there. You got to you got to see them when they're doing their sound test too. I mean, what was what was that like? Yeah, I arrived like the second half of the half test. I could see, yeah, they, they were already out some playing. It's incredible in the sound test in a shitty bar, and they were already slaying it. 
very chill. Well, there, there are the videos around. I'm sure you have seen them. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. And, it... and Miyako testing the the sound with the guy in the bar. No, she, she was the sound engineer during the first half of the tour. It was me. They were only the the five girls and their manager mm -hmm. uh, going around, and and the two people that were or, uh, organizing their tour. Yeah. that were selling the merch and everything. That's that's what I figured. So they, they didn't have a sound engineer or, or a stage manager or anything. It was everything Miyako. So Miyako was, was the sound engineer. The world. Okay. Yeah, they, she, she does everything. It's crazy. Okay. <clears throat> so in your opinion, like, how did it sound in that bar, New Cross? I mean, that was their first venue, first place. Um, mm -hmm. did it, did it sound, did Miyaku do a good job with what she had? Yeah, I'm not musician, so I am really not, uh, that expert on that, but to me, it sounded perfect. The song hey. was great. They, they did my Orion in, the, it was the only place where they did my Orion that I love the song. Okay. So, yeah. And my Orion is an awesome song. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, very. I mean, how was what was the energy like there? Oh, everyone was a stunned because you suddenly have Miyako and Asami and Midori just like a meter away from you because there was no rail or anything there. It was just, the stage was just a, a step, step up. Yeah. So yeah, they they were just in front of you. You could take two like the, with the hand like this and tell them it was crazy. Dude. And everyone la la was like not believing it because we come from this uh, lockdown era that seeing all these bands on YouTube seemed like you were, you no, know, it was like, like something very far away. And suddenly you have them. There. Oh, yeah. You it's, are... it's really, really strange. You're totally right with that. I mean, that's that's one thing that's hard to really kind of express here that I try to say that's like seeing them that that close. I imagine it would have been wild because, like, you've you've seen them, like, you know, on YouTube and stuff, right? And it's like, okay, not only are they in front of me, but they're, like, right in front of me. Yeah. And there was it's no crazy. security. No security, just the, the two guys in the bar and we'll go on, play music. Wow. I was on music. Hey, if anything, I think that... um. I think that speaks well for uh, Love Bites fans. They come, they go all that way, no security, play in a small bar, right? Uh, they're very close to the fans. The fans are, I, would you say, respectful? Yeah, everyone is very respectful, I think. That's good. And that I, is awesome. And the, the, the age average in Love Bites is high, so yeah, people is very chill. Yeah. It's not like in Hanavia that everyone is very young in the shows. Yeah. Probably yeah. in a low bites concert, I'm the younger in the younger area. Yeah. And in a Hanavia, I'm on the older one. <laughs> yeah. And Hanavia. <laughs> um, now, I heard that uh, Midori was actually the uh, security, though. Uh, let's be honest. With the two guns she rocks. Yeah. <laughs> you, you will probably have problems with her. <laughs> Oh man, but okay. So we're talking about New Cross, and the reason I started there, I mean, it's the first. But also, there's something I've been thinking about while reacting to a lot of this material coming from you know that had come from you guys, uh, you know, and it's like, what what's it like? Like compare what you saw and what you felt at the small venue versus at the big festival. Mm, well, there is a lot more intimacy. The, the girls, the energy, I think they are all the same. They are giving everything in every show. Yeah. Uh, I think Asami has said that she sings in every show, like if it was the last time she has to sing. So she, if even if in New Cross or in the Hellfest Festival that they had thousands and thousands of people in the audience, they, I think they do the same. They do the better self they have in every show. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, so like the smaller places, because you're much closer to the band, it's more intimate in some ways. I mean, you're right there. Yeah. And the big venue, I mean, obviously, they're much further away, but the sound is, is louder, right? 
Oh, yes, certainly, depending on the venue, the sound sounds uh, loud or, or not so loud. Yeah. Yeah. In New Cross was probably the one that had the less powerful sound system, so the sound was not that so strong there, but in Milan, it bro broke your ears. Of how strong <laughs> it, was. it broke your ears. Oh, but it, that felt great, though, right? I mean, you powered through, you're like, yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> I can't hear. Yeah, for love bites can do that. No problem. Yeah, yeah. Even if you hear loss forever. So, what are some um, what are some of the things that really stood out uh, to you uh, with their with their tour? Mm, yeah, of how how good they are. Eh? What you see in the DVDs in YouTube, eh? it's not an artifice. It's they are this good in every show. Perfect. They are perfect. Uh, they're perfect in just every show. And that's one thing I noticed too. Like they're they're playing hard, very difficult music, right? Mm -hmm. um, the way yeah. I described it sounds like kind of primitive to like what it really is, right? It's hard. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> you know, but it's so you're saying they they play at top level every time? Yeah, yeah, very yeah, yeah. Cool. Every show, every song, they they give the best version of themselves in every song they make in every show really yeah. professional yeah yeah and i noticed uh were there some parts i guess um and some of the shows i mean did the band members do uh, do certain things to stand out like um i would know with the crowd and stuff like that oh yeah you can um, one of the most important things you will see in a show when they go to houston is that uh how wasami uh, controls the crowd every moment all the show the more than hour that did last uh, sam is always doing stuff on the stage and, and it's not only singing she never stops and cheating the crowd interacting it's crazy how good she is mm. hey i bet so i bet so uh so she commanded crowd very well because i from what i saw on youtube you know when i see when you guys upload things as well uh, I do see a zombie control in the crowd, but you're saying yeah. it's all the time. It's every time. Yeah, she never stops. And then you, you see Fami that never stops smiling. <laughs> That's <laughs> cool. Milori is, is always, always doing his her thing. Yeah, yeah. With uh, you know, the, the, the back bends and everything, making faces. Oh, she's a show too, to see. Miyako oh, being Miyako. And Haruna ne never stops, man. It's crazy. She's like one hour and a half nonstop. Pa, 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 mm -hmm. pa, pa. I don't know how she can do it. I don't know either. I, I saw, mm -hmm. I think it was from Resurrection Fest, the um, the fam cam or the the drum cam. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, that looked intense. Yeah. That was so intense. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think it was from Hellfest, but you no, know, the soldier stands solitarily. Mm -hmm. One. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, this is from Hellfest. Hellfest, Hellfest, yeah. yeah. She, she, it's crazy. Mm. Oh, yeah. I don't know how she does it either. I mean, her cardio game is on point, 100%. Um, she must, she must have a lot of cardio training or something. Because uh, must be. To stand. Mm. Must. Like, you know, Midori is the tough one, right? She's the one with the two guns. You know, she works out. She's fit. But Haruna, we don't see her work out, but but you know she does. <laughs> she must do it, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, she, you can do that without training, <laughs> <laughs> right? Right. She must be on the treadmill like uh, an hour a day at least, at least. I can know. do that. <laughs> Man, I I certainly I can cannot do that. <laughs> yeah, I I definitely cannot do that. I mean, I could <laughs> maybe for a beer. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe one for a six for pack. <laughs> one day only. Yeah, yeah, just one day, one time, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll feel pretty bad afterwards. Okay, so uh, you talked about how Asami controls the crowd and Fami's always smiling. Um, okay, oh, that's. Um, I want to know. Okay, talk about. Tell me I a little bit about the fan, the fans' response, like what you noticed. With the crowd, hmm. yeah, the the people is uh, answering the calls from uh, Asami. I think everyone knows the the songs because 
uh, is the most hardcore part of the fandom. No, they, they don't still don't have a, a casual crowd. So everyone that's there, the 300 people are all hardcore fans from them. So everyone knows the songs. Everyone knows what to do and how to respond to the songs. Everyone knows the songs. Uh, some people sing the songs. They were very happy that people were singing. They said it on Twitter, I think. Oh, okay. But but they, so they want more people to sing along. I yeah. don't know. No? Or, or they found it fun, fun once. Oh, okay. But maybe if it's always they don't like, I don't know. I don't know. But um, so, so that makes sense what you told me there. Like, uh, like the, so the, the, just about, so let's say that with the small venues, like the 300 people, right? So you're saying just about everyone there was like a, like a super fan. Like, like they have been listening to Love Bites for a while. They already have a shirt and like they've been waiting for this moment. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. People have been waiting for five years because since 2019, they have not been in Europe. So Oh, man. And most of us, most of us uh, are fans that entered during the lockdown era. Oh, you're right, about, uh, dude. I didn't even think about that. It's been five years since they've been to Europe. So uh, most of us uh, came later. So I, I think there are some fans that have been oh. there from the start, but not all. Not. All. I got like chills. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna think about what he said there. So like, uh, so. Everyone there, super fan, waiting for this moment. And, oh, man. So, did, did when you talk to the fans, I'm guessing you did too, right? There's some interaction. Like, did he know any of them? Did he recognize them? Um, from the fans, yeah. I, I think uh, we know people from the discords and this this area. Sometimes not by, by face, but... Because it's the first time that we tour with the band. No? I have gone to to other tours with baby metal fans, and we know each other, all of us. Yeah. But with the Love Bites people, I had not had the chance to meet them yet. So it was a very nice to be now able to finally put a face to to everyone. That's very, very cool. good experience. That is so amazing. So you're saying a lot of people there that he saw were actually already. I guess kind of familiar with you. You're familiar with them because they're like in the Discord. That's, that's there cool. were some 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 baby metal fans that I knew from beforehand, but yeah, uh, most people is not a baby metal fan in the fandom, so I oh, didn't have I the am, chance yet to meet them. I mean, yeah, it, I am a big baby metal person too. <laughs> one day they might change their mind. I don't know, but hey, I like them. No. <laughs> Hey, I got to tell you, my neighbors don't understand why I like uh, some of the bands I do. I, I just do. I like them. I think they're great. All right. Uh, I think I can win yeah. them over on Love Bites. I think I could. Um, yeah. If, if people, Love Bites is easier to, to get into the, uh, than Baby Metal. If you are an old, an old rock fan, I think. Yeah. But you still, maybe, maybe you still find a bit of gatekeeping with Love Bites because of being Japanese woman dressing. Well, there is Some that. Might... There is that component there for to it as well. Mm. But they also, yeah, I mean, they do look great. They look wonderful, right? They look amazing. Uh, but they also play well. Um, they play very intense heavy metal that just sounds. At sometimes it sounds very aggressive. Or oh, I mean. <laughs> I mean, some songs are very brutal, and others are very elegant in composition. Um, it's it's about having fun, I think. It's some songs are definitely about having fun, like "Dancing with the Devil." Mm. That's a fun song. I can yeah, I can watch yeah. a zombie dance to that song uh, forever. I mean, that 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 would be great. My Orion. Oh, my Orion. My Orion is for. Yeah, it's that, for fun. That's a good song. That's a very fun song. And they have more like Spellbound. and Yeah, they always put one or two songs like this. Spellbound is a song I would like for them to bring back. I feel like it's kind of um, it's kind of got lost. In fact, I was going to ask ask you one of my hard-hitting questions here because it's a very super serious channel. We don't joke at, on this channel at all. Is, uh, you know, what, what, what song do you think is uh, lost and forgotten and will never be played again? Oh, 
a part of Dystopia Symphony, that's the easy way, no? because it's the song that everyone wants to listen and they have never done. No? I will say Soldier, but so they are doing Soldier now. They have noticed that people like it. But if yeah. I have to go to the deep cuts, I will say Master Min Zero One and The Final Collision are two very good songs that people doesn't put in our attention. Yeah, Master okay, I, I can see that. You know what? A Journey to the Other Side. Uh, that's, the, that's the title of the song, right? Journey to the Other Side? Yeah, the I, one from Miho. Yeah, I think that song is safe to say probably won't be played again. No, I don't think they because it's a very yeah. Personal I, I think song out of respect. Me. I think just they mm. they have other very slow, more epic songs as well. That that song does have a very distinct sound to it. I mean, it's it's a really good song, but you know they have others that they could choose, and it's just journey was a song that was made for that moment. I think yeah. And, Absolutely. That's it. Absolutely. It already right. happened. Yeah. Um, before I get into my other weird off the wall questions, let's <laughs> let's focus a little bit more on your experience other live shows and get a little bit more on that. Because you saw those small venues, you saw them those other big venues there. You amazed me. That's right. You were right there. Love bites and babe metal were like together. <laughs> You know, you got a bass in that glow when they took that photo, right? Uh, mm. uh, yeah, <laughs> that was a bright light that I saw across the horizon. That was something over there, right? <laughs> a disturbance in the force. Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> uh, was nice. Okay, so yeah, but, uh, what what was like mm. at one of those big festivals? Like, like, um, that like they describe it to me, like. Mm. Yeah, like, Resurrection Fest. Uh, they started with the first day with Hanabie and Crystal Lake that I sadly okay. couldn't see. The, the third day was Giluca that I don't know if you're familiar with this band. Which one? Giluca. Giluca, a band that, of four guys that dress uh, like uh, Visual Key. They are really good. It but sounds familiar. I think I, I think I might have reacted to them before. I think so. Maybe. And the the last day, the a part of other bands from everywhere, they, they were playing. Love Bites was opening the day. No, it was the second show in in the second stage. Then after they finished, you uh, it played in the main stage. Louder to prevail that I already went there to take the a, a good uh, spot for baby metal, and it must have been around that time that they, they did the picture when. Love Bites left the, their stage and Slaughter to Prevail started. Okay. They must have gone to the backstage and meet, I think. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the, the first, the fourth day, the Love Bites show at Resurrection Fest, I was lucky to get the, on the rail on the first row. So it was pretty awesome to enjoy them from without anything in front of you, just them. Uh, so yeah, you were, you were it, it, oh wait, did I hear you correctly? So you were at the front, the front row? The yeah, front. first row what? A resurrection first, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so uh, we I have a question. enjoy that show a lot. I yeah, have, tell me. A very serious question. When you're that close <laughs> and you have to take a piss, what do you do? I don't know, man. You have to plan in advance. <laughs> so you it doesn't Get you by surprise. <laughs> it doesn't get you by surprise. So you're not drinking water at all. You're not drinking anything. I don't drink water, man. <laughs> okay. So so no beer. <laughs> no beer, maybe not. No. Or yeah. <laughs> uh, do you put like a uh, like a bag down there? So if you do have to be, it's like. <laughs> yeah. Put uh, like a catheter. The truth is that. When you go to these shows, you have to plan a bit in advance, no? Because they they having to go to pee, it's a problem. If you are doing queue for some time, you have to to not drink too much and go to pee before starting to queue on the line. Yeah, yeah. So because uh, I asked the question because that's something I probably run into. <laughs> I'm the sort that might have one too many beers. Be like, man, it's either I give this up or I piss my pants. I think I'm going to piss my pants. 
<laughs> uh, I mean, it's hot and sweaty. Wait, how hot was it over there? I mean, how hot? Oh, it wasn't that hot in in Spain because uh, it's uh, in Galicia. That's a region that's not very hot, not in the far north of the country. Yeah. So it was good. Uh, there was no sun or anything, so it was a good day for for the show. It was okay. worse in in Milan and Belgium. It was hotter inside because it was a closed space with <laughs> all, so many people inside. So, so in the small venues, it was much hotter because of all the bodies. Yeah. So that was your shoulder to. Sh oh, I bet it smelled bad. I mean, how did it smell in there? I, I don't think people were smelling too much. It's not like you are going to an anime convention or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> I don't know what you say. So, so Love Bites fans, they know how to take a shower. They know hygiene. That's yeah, good. Yeah, it's surprisingly not smelly. <laughs> That's good, guys. You heard that. Love Bites fans uh, know how to take Approved. showers. That's great. Approved. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Oh man! See, asking the serious questions. Uh, no, we weren't going to point anybody out, okay? All right. Um, <laughs> so, okay, when you're at, at the festival, though, since you see, you got to see the other bands before, you know, Love Bites. Uh, were they kind of like? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think you might have said this already, but uh, did you did you enjoy them, or were you kind of you're really just there for Love Bites? So they're kind of just like, eh. Well, I I like metal there yeah. uh, in general. Uh, Megadeth played later that I enjoyed the show a lot. No, Dave is a very old already, but he's trying his best. And yeah, we had some other bands too. But this year the, there were uh, six Japanese bands. I had never seen this in a Spanish festival ever. The, oh, yeah? This Japanese wave is coming already. It's transcending internet, I think. The Japanese it's, wave. It, it was impossible that this thing happened years ago. So, and the the crowd for, the crowd for baby metal was enormous. And if I heard that correctly, it sounds like a lot of the Japanese bands, or actually maybe all the Japanese bands, were there played on the same day, right? Because uh, no, that no, festival no, no. was no. No, no. The it was four days. Four, four the days. The first day. The the first day we had Hanabi and okay. Crystal Lake. All right. The the second one, I think they, there wasn't. Gotcha. Any. The third day was only Jiluka. And the fourth day, it was okay. Love, by, Love by Baby Metal and Gnosis. Gnosis, yeah. I don't know if you know the name. Okay. Okay. Just make sure I got that right. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Jaluka, I did actually do a reaction of theirs once. I did. Uh, it was pretty good. I like that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Now. Yeah, tell me. Before we move on to the other weird questions which would be just kind of random and at various stuff we'll get into oh, and chat if you have any questions you want to ask feel free um what did you think of the set list the set list that they were doing on the tour uh, very good because it was the main singles they have and they also put uh raise some hell that's awesome soldier stand solitary that's awesome mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, they they can fail because they don't have uh, bad songs. So. <laughs> yeah, but it, it was really enjoyable. I think I I could finally see Soldier Stand Solitarily that they perform excellent. It's crazy to see that song live. Oh yeah, uh, Raise Some Hell. It's uh, really Raise fun. Some Hell is a great song. Soldier Stand Solitarily. That's that's a good song too. Mm. That's good. And song. they did the, all the singles, Shadow Maker, When Destiny is Aligned, Judgment Day, Stand and Deliver. Yeah, all the videos. Okay. Okay. Holy War. Mm. Um Were you surprised that I mean, was there a song that you were kind of hoping would be on there that wasn't? Oh yeah. So Which one? Ah, that wasn't. Mm. I was pretty happy, I think, with the with, with the set list. They, yeah. they did all, all the songs I wanted, but maybe if uh, we are missing something, it could be some deep cut or something like this, like Masterminds or or MDO. Yeah, MD, they did MDO. MDO, mm -hmm. it's a very yeah. fun song to do live yeah. because the, it has a lot of interaction. Oh yeah, 100%. very heavy at some parts. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. 
All right. So, all right, here we go. Serious, serious question. Okay. You being a Love Bites fan. Oh, you being a Love Bites fan. All right. I want to ask you, you're going on a fishing trip. Which member of Love Bites do you take with you? Like, who do you think would be a good fishing buddy? Well, we have the, those pictures of Miyago with the big cods fishing. So <laughs> you know, you do, do your homework. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 100%. Miyako. Miyako would be the pick. That would mm. be a go to choice. I see, I, she can do everything, so. Uh, that she can. Even, uh, even if she hadn't gone fishing, it's the one you should take because she, she does everything. Yeah, uh, she would be a safe bet. She's very. She seems very quiet, uh, very precise. Mm. And if you kept on talking, she would just give you a look like "shut up," <laughs> try to catch fish. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Midori can punch a fish, and that's how you fish the fish. Uh, Midori might. Midori might be your choice if you're spear fishing. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, in the jungle or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Uh, you are going to have to survive on an island by yourself. Uh, which member of Love Bites do you want uh, with you? <laughs> that would be That's Midori. A, a hard question. <laughs> It'd be like uh, Midori for her I, strength. I think the five of them will make me very happy to have around. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're gonna have to do work now, okay? Mm. Be like, hey, you can't, you can't just, we can't, we can't play music for you anyway. We don't have any electricity, okay? Uh, we're gonna have to, <laughs> we're gonna have to figure things out here. All right. Yeah, well, too hard to survive. All right, I got another question. All right, so, uh, <clears throat> which member of Love Bites would you want with you for an oh, eating contest? Sound left. Mm -hmm. For a what? Sorry. Uh, which member of Love Bites would you want with you for an eating contest? Oh, an eating contest. Yeah. I have to win, then a Sammy not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If, oh. if you have to win that, co that contest and you have a Sammy around, it's going to be a very hard win for you. Oh, yeah, 100%. Now, what if you were to elect uh, a member of Love Bites to go in your place? It would be a definitely be a Sami for sure. Yeah, uh, she a Sami is a good company, I think. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. And I don't think there's anything she wouldn't eat. I mean, she eats all the time, which is <laughs> and and I don't know where that food goes. Yeah, I mean, it's you, crazy how how she eats so much and she never gets fat or anything. No, because it's all sugars and. Yeah, and you I saw them live. I will, uh, if I eat one of those uh, ice creams, I suddenly got two kilos more. <laughs> <laughs> or three pounds or whatever it is. Yeah. You just got to you gotta sing and dance on stage, Hades. That's what you got to do. Yeah, I don't know where I read that Miyako had lost like five or six kilos in this tour only. And, and you can see, if you look the pictures at the start of the tour and at the end, you see her very, very thin already. Well, so it's a lot of effort. It is. It takes a lot out of you. Uh, you got to also count, like, what they're eating and how they're eating. Um, mm. Man. Yeah, and because they are out of their country and maybe they don't like the food so much because they are not used to it. Yeah. So, yeah. Like I could not imagine living on the road. Like I, I'm like the sort. Of, I'm like, what, what? What do you do when your stomach gets sick? Like, what do you do when you get like, you know, <laughs> you're not really feeling it. You know, you gotta, you just you gotta power through. Maybe you, maybe you have to make the bus driver stop at every <laughs> oil station. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, and then and then showering and hygiene, like. Mm. Depending on where you are, you, you probably don't have showers around, or especially if you're at one of those festivals, like everyone's like peeing in like, like, like porta potties. Yeah, I imagine they have a better, better installations for the for the artists, but for the people, it's so bad, man. <laughs> oh yeah, for the people, it's bad. But even uh, depending on what band you talk to, and I guess it depends on the festival, uh, they will tell you some horror stories that it's like. 
one porta potty for like everyone, even even the ban, and it sucks, <laughs> dude. But I think I they at least they have been hiding good hotels in this tour because they were stopping uh, at every yes. town in a hotel. Yes, they were. They were taking. Uh, they were in hotels. Looks like so they did have. That has to be a little. So nice. yeah. Okay. At least that they they must have had uh, time for themselves and and chill a bit, you know. Okay. After every show. Hmm. Yeah, the, and the actually, you know, seeing their um their moment of I guess rest when they're kind of just chilling at the pool, that was kind of cool mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, did you guys have any questions? It looks like Repo Bob has one here. Says, which song do you think each band could cover from the other one with Love Bites and Babe Metal, except Road of Resistance? Akatsuki. <laughs> love Bites should, should do Akatsuki. It's a very Love Bites song. And Baby Metal from Love Bites. Well, baby Metal can do any style of music, so they can do any of their songs. Yeah. And it will sound very similar. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. So, and, and do, you think, do you think a Baby Metal Love Bites uh, crossover could happen? I don't think Baby Metal is in that uh, in that mindset now. They are trying to expand with the bigger artists on the current uh, metal scene internationally. Yeah. I'll... So, to, to, to go back to a Japanese band... Uh, that's not even that big. Uh, I don't think they are in this mindset right now. They are doing international artists and stuff like that. You know, I said something similar. I was like, you know, I don't think Koa Metal has them on the list because they're in Japan. And they're also a small band in Japan, uh, well, you know, comparatively speaking. You know, resp- and even... Even the sound, the, the sound baby metal has been hiding that these past seven, eight years is very different from the fir- first and second album where they were doing Road of Resistance, Akatsuki, music like like this that was more traditional. They are doing well, in the other one. It's very, very mo- mo- modern, cutting edge music. Uh, yeah. Like periphery, is, stuff like this. That is true. Mm-hmm. Uh, with that, my only counter would be if there's a will, there's a way, but there's not even a will. You know, you know, like they would have to want to do that and um, and then they can figure the rest out. But, you know, I mean, the the possibility if like if it was to happen and they did try to figure it out. Sure. I mean, I could speculate all day what it would be like and it'd be like, oh, that'd be kind of cool. But, you know, to get there first, um, I mean, I think. I think Koba's list of bands to to collab with is uh, everyone that's not in Japan, uh, everyone that's big, everyone that's like uh, any trending artist that's much that's very large. They will they will work with if they want to work with them. <laughs> yeah, and, and it doesn't really add anything for baby metal now to do a collaboration with Love Bites for Love Bites visibility. But for baby metal, it doesn't really give uh, them anything. Yeah. So I, I don't see that happen. I will nerd very big if it happened, but I don't think it will happen. Oh, if it did happen, dude, I think my head would explode, okay? If that happened, like, it would be it for me. I think I might have a heart attack in here, okay? <laughs> I don't know, man. I wouldn't I wouldn't believe it. I would. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just remembering something. D- wait. <laughs> Koba Metal, Baby Metal did a collaboration with uh, that random band. I, well, to me, they're random, but I guess they're not random if you live in Thailand. Body uh-huh. Slam? Yeah. If Hero and Body Slam, yeah. But I guess, uh, from what I gathered, I mm-hmm. guess they're really big in Thailand. Yeah, that's what I heard, that they are a band that everyone knows in Thailand, so. Yeah, it seems uh, for them it's a big thing there. Yeah, mm. yeah, uh, that is that is true. Uh, actually, now reflecting on my reactions of Body Slam, it was quite an interesting response. And yeah, they they could fill out arenas mm-hmm. like pretty big venues. So, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's get some other questions here. Okay. Um. <laughs> 
you, <laughs> uh, would you be willing, and how much would it take for you to be willing to arm wrestle <laughs> to arm wrestle Midori? Hey man, I value the the health of my arm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, but I mean, if if she gave you like free Love Bites merchandise. <laughs> mm, mm. I I will have that much for some days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm. It, it's not like Asami was gonna be there to record it and put it on YouTube and 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 Miyako kind of laugh. <laughs> it will be like one of the those jackass videos from old times. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! Uh, during during this tour, did you ever get a chance to do the? Um, I totally forgot about this. The, the backstage meet and greet. Ah, yeah, I did that in Belgium. That I had a VIP ticket. Okay, what was that so, like? That was a very strange experience, man. I was really nervous because you you enter there, no? The the door opens, and suddenly okay. you you walk in and. You have lo all the five guys like, like doing like, hey, hey, like what, what is happening here? Man? <laughs> and so then you, you give your phone to, to Sugiyama, that's their manager. Yeah. No, to make the pictures. No. And suddenly the, my phone is very bad and very old, as you can see. So uh, I was touching the button and I was doing nothing. Uh, oh, sorry. It's uh, very old. Uh, and you heard a Sammy logging there. Ah, ha, 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 ha. And you think, what the fuck is going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> and finally you get, and you are there, and everyone cheers at you. You do some pose, they do the same pose like you, and they are all very tiny, man, like like this uh, this high. And I am not a tall person, but they are very small. Okay, so I'm like six three. How tall are you? Yeah, I'm f in American numbers. I am five point seven. Okay. Okay. Oh so, man, they but, would. But they are like, like this hay. This hay Holy crap! That'd be like up to my gut. Okay. They're super <laughs> tiny. <laughs> I'll be like a towering giant. Like oh, <laughs> oh, I'm not trying to scare you, ladies. <laughs> yeah. And, okay, and so they are wait. very. Mm. So, so a door opens. You go into a small room, and they're there. Are you mm. like just hanging out or what? No, and you 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 have to make the picture with them. You give their manager the phone so okay. he can do it, and and, and then, then you put the where you want uh, in the middle, maybe where or at the side of your favorite one, and you make the the picture, say them something if you want. No, I told I think I told Asami because I was really nervous that uh, I was very thankful for the music and please keep doing it. That I I couldn't say too much. And then you leave and you get a poster signed by all of them. And that's it. It's like less than a minute, but it's a very strange situation, man. You suddenly enter a room and you have love bites, like cheating and everything. And you are like, what's happening? <laughs> Dude, that's, that's a dream. That is a dream right there. Um, Okay, so you got to take a picture of, with them. Uh, but you get to choose, do you get to choose a member? You said you get to choose your favorite member to take a picture with you? Yeah. Uh, no, no, you take the picture with the five of them. Oh, with the five maybe of them. you okay. can go to, to the side of Miyako or Midori. Oh, okay. Or okay. No. Uh, whose side did you go to? to? I was in the middle. I had Midori at my right side and the Sami in the left. Oh, so. look at that. See, I, I would have like um, Miyako and uh, uh, Midori. Okay. Um, both on my shoulder. Okay. That'd be cool. Mm. I don't even. Yeah, I did not get a chance to pay for that because those those tickets were sold out like immediately. For, for yeah, it was for Dallas, it, and, and it was like double price in America, right? I think I paid one hundred sixty or around there. But I think it was like three hundred in in America yeah. or something like this. Yeah, inflation. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, um, it's the light ration, light ration tax. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Um. Uh, yeah. Someone asked in the chat, was it a successful <laughs> tour? I think it was. They they sold out all the venues, I think. So yeah, it was not 
those not, not that big, no, it was they they were growing like three hundred the two or three first shows, but then it was five hundred, six hundred. The the festivals, especially Hellfest, was an enormous crowd that for them must have been really really cool. Hellfest is in in France, mm -hmm. and they had like I don't know what five the pictures maybe thirty thousand or around there. So so the it was very good for them I think. I don't know the numbers, but they were selling a lot of merch too. I, that's really it helpful. Like it that really helps the band, from what I understand. Um, I'm not sure if it's the they, same with, with them, but they were know. selling like 40 VIPs for every show. That's a lot of money, too. Oh yeah. Okay. So I mean, from what you tell me, I would say it's uh, uh, successful. Uh, we'll find out if. Uh, I guess if Victor wants to do it again. <laughs> okay. Let's hope they, they come back soon. Right, right. But let's hope that at the end of this, they don't get... Uh, I mean, let's, I hope that world events don't, you know, don't spiral out of control. Okay? I hope everything stays stable and they can come back again for another time. Right? And I hope they had fun. They had to be... To do a bit of hard work with the band they were traveling in uh, because they were having to do a lot of travel uh, from France to every place. Oh, yeah. France, li like six or seven hours drive every day. Uh -huh. right. But they, they were resting in hotels and everything, so I hope they had a good time at least. Well, from their photos, yeah. it looked like they did. I mean, I like when, like I said, I like when they were chilling at the pool. That was pretty cool to see. And they seem very happy to meet the fans and play for them. So yeah, yeah. I think they are happy. Oh yeah, I, I, mean, I don't was, know the number. But... I think I think it was like the zigzag, or I'm not sure what show it was. Where like Asami got like, well, I make mean, us all of the small smaller shows where Asami got really really close into the crowd, and like there was like this cool photo of her like it looked like she was leaning into the camera. It was like really cool, you know. Just Asami really always got very emotional at the end of the shows. Oh. Especially in Milan, that, that people was chanting love oh, bites. Oh, eh, oh, eh. <laughs> like football chanting, soccer chanting. Yeah. So they, they got very emotional at the end with that. And Asami was uh, already in Holy War, was nearly crying. And at Glory to the World, uh, again, because she always cries at Glory to the World. Not not cries, but she gets uh, yeah. watery eyes. Yeah. Yeah, man, I, that had to be so powerful. I mean, oh, to hear to hear everyone chanting "Love Bites, Love Bites" like that, and you got to think too, like it's they they know how long it's been since they've been to uh, Europe. Uh, in Europe, they probably thought Europe forgot about them. Yeah, and they don't know if that thing that they see on the internet is going to have a response in the real world. That's not the same. Yeah, that, they managed that's... to sell out the. The, the venues that's a and we were really lucky to to see them in in these small venues because to see a band this good in a place like this it's not exactly so easy yeah maybe it doesn't happen again next time it's going to be already bigger ones so i, I don't have any complaint about having seen them on the new crossing it was very special hey it's very cool. I mean, I'm glad you had the chance to see them like that, especially the small venues, because you're right. That's probably something that's not going to happen again. So you have an experience of a lifetime, and that's something you can't, well, I guess you can't buy. <laughs> you could buy, but it's not merchandise that you could buy. Uh, it's not a stream you could watch. It's something there. Um, there's something else I try, to, I try to convey during reactions, and it's like, you know, even when, like, if I react to, like, a fan cam, and I react to a capture. I'd be like, you know, the audio we're hearing from that capture is is not the best quality, and I'm not really dogging it. But the thing is, when you're there, it feels so much different. When you're there, it feels amazing, yeah, yeah. right? It doesn't sound the same or anything. What you listen to in a fan cam, it's very different of what you are hearing in the yeah. show. And also, the all the people there, the energy. It's, a different experience. Everyone should experience it if they can, I think. Right. It's okay. not like seeing a video or anything, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. It's something that, it's a feeling that's hard to convey, you know, because it's it's like, oh, this this uh, 
footage doesn't look all that great or sound all that great. But it's like, oh, but like if you had been there, uh, you'd you'd be saying something different, you know. Um, and they, there is also the chance to meet all, all the other fans and talk about this thing that you can talk with people in your real life. Uh, right. Right. You you are in the queue uh, making on the line for three or four hours, and you are meeting everyone and talking about love bites. That's, <laughs> that's pretty cool too. Uh, that's right. Uh, let's see. Any other questions in the chat here, guys? Uh, let's see. All right. I have a question for you. Let's see. If we got the guess. Uh, let's do a series of questions guessing which member of the band would fit this. Uh, let's see. Let's have some fun here. I feel free to propose a question kind of related to this. So the idea is, um, hmm, let's do. So what member of Love Bites mm -hmm. would you think would have the, I'll say that the best manga collection out of all of them? The best manga collection? Yeah. Mm, probably Haruna. <laughs> Haruna? Oh. Yeah, she she looks like a person who like who likes manga. And maybe Fami too. One of those two. Man. Haruna. But I'd say Haruna. I uh, see Haruna's a, a mystery for me. I'm like, you know what? But I, that seems fitting. There's something about uh, something, yeah. oh, man, she seems like she's she seems like, like a like an anime person, I think. Ah. Okay. Okay. See, I was thinking Fami. I was thinking Fami would, might have, like, you know, a little collection that she would, like, geek out over or whatever. But, you know, I don't really have anything to base on all of them other than uh, there's something. Because, Maybe the music she was doing. Uh, the music, Not and when, she's the youngest one. The music the music on her channel was a lot uh, anime influenced. The bass yeah. covers she was doing. Yeah, that's Maybe true. Maybe because of that, we think on her. But I think Haruna is more like an anime person. Maybe I'm wrong, but okay. She looks like it. All right. We also have a question from the chat, and the question is from uh, a psych uh, a psychiater. A psychiater. <clears throat> Why was Fami so awesome the whole tour? Because she was born awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Born awesome. Look at that. <laughs> Man, that I I really enjoy how they treat her. Like that is so cool. They they seem so nice to her. To who? To to Asami or uh to yeah, to Fami. Like they seem like everyone. Uh, to Fami, yeah. Yeah, all all the girls seem very, very nice to Fami. Yeah, and the the fans too. They were very when they were showing family to everyone. Everyone was cheating very high. No? Yeah. Because in stand and deliver before starting, mm -hmm. Sammy says, "Oh, this is our new bassist, Sammy," <laughs> and I want that. Hey, very happy. Yeah. And welcome and everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's very cool. Huh. It's like and there was, was a bit a bit of uh, drama at the start with me leaving, but now everyone is very happy with Fami. I think I, I don't see anyone complaining or or anything. No, no, no. It, it's it's mm -hmm. it's good there, and uh, Miho's doing yeah. her thing, and uh, that's that's a topic maybe yeah. later. But she, she seems to be enjoying herself, so that's that's good. You know, she's doing what she wants. So. Yeah, and she's having fun with the uh, other members of. Um, well, kind of various members, actually. Oh, I guess the Dope Down Squad, what, 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 whatever you call it. Didn't really follow yeah, that too much. She's doing music with her friends. Yeah. Having a lot of fun, drinking. Yeah, she's doing what she That's wants. That's fun. It can be a lot of fun. Um, not that not I know anything about drinking. <laughs> but, yeah, not, not everyone wants to be in a band. It's a very hard work. So yeah, it is a lot of hard she's work. She's now okay. Yeah, 100%. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we have any other questions here. Well, while we wait for that, I'll see if anyone else has any questions. Um, one other thing I want to ask you before we wrap this up is, how did you become a Love Bites fan? 
Like, how did you get into this? Mm. So let's see, what's my story with this Japanese music thing? Uh, they, it started with baby metal, like most people, I think. Right. Not, half, half people, maybe. No, they announced in 2019 that they, they were coming to Spain, and I was reading a metal hammer and found them in the cover. I checked them, saw Give Me Choco, didn't put much attention to it. No, a Japanese thing, fun, but okay. But then when the lockdown started, uh, shortly after, uh, I read an editorial that Baby Metal had just made a, a live show on YouTube. That it was at that time they were doing the Tokyo Dome and Wembley show for free on YouTube in April 2020. And yeah. that's when I found them and got into the folks hall and everything. So yeah, I, I, stay, I stayed in Baby Metal for some time, checking everything and then Next year, I was a bit bored of it, so I was checking reactions with Mr. Rock and Roll. It was the, his Holy War reaction, okay. and I found that, and, and I thought, oh, shit, what's this, man? It's <laughs> so cool. So I started to dig into Love Bites, uh, and it was around the time they were releasing Glory to the World. And, yeah, from there, I started to get into this more and more, and here we are. And now I have a lot of bands that I like in the Japanese scene. So the song that got you was Holy War. Holy War, yeah. That's a good it song. It really sounds like the music I love. It has, yeah. has everything. Was the reactor reacting to the studio version or the live version? No, it was the the Five of a Kind version. Of oh, the, of the song. that's mm. that's a really... Well, all their live performances are really amazing, but... I don't know. There's something a little special about all of them. Five of a kind. Five of a kind is really nice. <laughs> maybe it's still the the best show. Maybe. I, man. But it's hard to say. It's hard to say. It really is. is it? I could say that about all of them. I think. But and when you play it, it's like okay, yeah, that's really good. I like that. <laughs> and it's the one that made them explode because before they were a small band, like like maybe Bright Ear or something like this. But once they put the videos from Five of a Kind on the YouTube, they, they explode and became one of the biggest yeah. bands. In, it is so amazing how they, they took off like that because there are other bands that were kind of, I guess, similar composition and, I guess, power metal, heavy metal style. But it's Love mm -hmm. Bites that kind of um, made waves, especially, I think, with reactions. Yeah, we... I think there is a bit of a step in quality there. That's uh, they are an, on an international level of good, while the others maybe are not are very good, but not at this way. If you are not into it, it's going to them har harder for them to to keep the catch the eye of of the international audience. But for Love Bites, they they are so flawless that it may be one of the best bands uh, internationally right now doing heavy metal. I mean, I would say so. I would agree with you. Uh, I mean, I mean, I react to a lot of different uh, bands on this channel, but my favorite one still is Love Bites, and I don't see that really change, you know really changing. Um, yeah, I, I I don't know how much is my bias or how much they are really this good, but I think they I don't see other bands that are this good. Not even not in Japan, in all the world, current that are from now of this time. I don't see other bands. Yeah, I mean, it's something about it. Like, there's the other bands that I like. They're kind of similar. I like them. It's just not the same level. And it, there's something about... I, and they I are guess, very good to it. Yeah. I guess it's something about the composition. That, like, just they just have it. They Miyako's Golden Touch, maybe. Maybe Mal. Uh, he's he's in there. I know he helps compositions. <laughs> Yeah, Mao is very good doing music too because it's not only his work in Love Vice. You see a yeah. song that he makes in In East of Eden, for example, and it's fire. His stuff in Like Bringer from 10 years ago is fire too. Yeah. That guy is re really talented too. Yeah. They have a lot of talent there, for sure. Um, mm -hmm. Wow. So, and another thing that's interesting about this, it was a reaction channel. Now, I am a reactor. So I guess that's a that's a that's a win for reactors there. <laughs> a reaction channel served a purpose oh, yeah. and got you into love bites. 
That's cool, man. Certainly, uh, reactions have helped this band a lot, especially Love Bites that they have never vlogged the, the videos. Uh, it has helped them to, to get them out there, I think, a lot. Yeah. They must be very grateful. Oh, yeah. Or, or they should. <laughs> I, would, I would hope so, anyway. Um, it's kind of why I like doing this, to, to share a music that I like with others. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good to, to show good music to other people. And and the people that ask you for music to react, it's the same. It's the feeling of okay. share good music with someone, you know. All right. I have a, another question for you from uh, Repo Bob mm-hmm. and then one from uh, uh, Richard Z. All right. From Repo, you have... Why is your accent? Uh, why is your accent sounds one hundred percent better than mine when speaking in English? Oh, mine! Um, I think I have a very strong accent. <laughs> I, I, dude, I, honestly, Hades. If Hades sounds like he's in Houston, okay, like his accent, I, I hear very often, which is strange because, it, well, it's actually really not. I guess not all that strange. I, we talked about a little bit, of, a bit of. Uh, a little bit about that uh, before going live. I mean, kind of, kind of makes sense. <laughs> like my Hispanic friends, the uh, Hispanic guys I know, like, kind of sound. They have a similar accent. It just is. Yeah, pro- because they mo- most pronounce the vocals similar. Yeah, that, as yeah. I, uh, I mean, well, when that's... I arrived to to the new crossing in London. Uh, it was 40 minutes I landed with the plane, and I just get the girl uh, a pint, please. And he was, what? A pint? Yeah. <laughs> What's this? And the other guy that was there, oh, you want a pint, right? Yes. <laughs> you are from Spain, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I, I didn't know how to say it well. Oh, yeah. But he, he called my accent really quick. I bet a so. pint, it's a, a beer they sell in England, you know. Right? Ah, okay, okay. Now, I have a question. Like, when you talk to people from uh, Mexico, like, um, do, do you, you, hear a, you hear a big difference, right? Or no? Well, they have an accent. I guess it's like uh, the British and the Americans or something like yeah. this. They have an yeah. accent, but you can understand everything. Man, I would, I would like to... Because, um, man, there, there's a guy I know. He's from, like, South America. He's from uh, Venezuela. Uh, he's not so happy <laughs> about that place. He left for, for particular reasons. And uh, his accent is actually, like, it's kind of similar, too. Uh, I guess uh, if you speak Spanish or a form of Spanish, it's, you're going to have maybe a similar accent when you start speaking English, I guess? Is that how that works? Or, I mean, yeah. I, I, don't, I, I think know. that people that, that speak Spanish and Italian and Portuguese, when ah. we speak English, we sound similar, all, all of us. Yeah, if, because we do the vocals the same and the music of the... The talking is similar. Yeah. yeah, the romantic languages. Okay, all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Okay, <laughs> look at <laughs> look at that. a little a little language uh, talk here. Um, keep in mind, guys. I'm I'm a complete goofball, so whatever I say, I just you know whatever. Um, like you couldn't tell from the cowboy hat. Uh, okay, another qu- a question from Richard Z. If Love Bites mm-hmm. were offered to open for Metallica. In two weeks to replace another band, pick five songs they must play on their set. For Love Bites, five songs? Yeah, so... We have to think that they don't uh, put uh, Metallica in problems because they are better, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we don't want Love Bites to outperform Metallica. Um, exactly. so, so Haruna would have to like not drum. Okay. <laughs> or at least only power metal songs, so they don't do trash better than them. <laughs> right? Um, mm. Because Haruna would out drum uh, Lars just, just like with any song, okay? But, <laughs> I mean, I, I guess power metal gets you right there. I would say, I'd say open up with uh, open up with their thrash songs and and just give Metallica that challenge, okay? Yeah, we're gonna obliterate open for them. Thunder Vengeance opening. Thunder, with Thunder Vengeance. Vengeance. 
uh, a Mastermind Zero One or maybe MDO, maybe both. They're kind of, I don't know about both, but yeah, may maybe. I mean, set the world on fire. Ah, set the world on fire. Yes, apocalypse or the the apocalypse. Dissonance. Oh, holy shit! If they okay, if Metallica was backstage or her dissonance, they would probably be like, wait, is it Love Bites or is it Slayer? Who who who's our opening act? <laughs> because yeah, they, they will have to cancel the show. <laughs> They'd be like, wait, wait, <laughs> what's going on here? Lars has got a nil. Lars has got a nil. <laughs> Like oh we have to come on after this uh, <laughs> that would be that'd be embarrassing but good question Richard hopefully I didn't um, defend you with my take on Metallica poor Lars yeah poor Lars uh, hey, it's always know, fun <laughs> let's see uh, uh, any other questions here I don't see any other questions in the chat. Uh, Repo did say Master Puppets, Battery, Kill Them All. Oh, I think he said um, Metallica's playlist. Oh, uh, I guess on the same question we, here. We or, could talk, uh, mm -hmm. I was going to ask you, like, all right, let's say Love Bites asked you, uh, specifically just mm -hmm. you, no one else. Hey, we want to do, we want to cover a couple of songs. For reasons, I guess marketing or whatever. Same thing that I like, guess Nimafilla did, and be like, pick three songs you want us to cover from any any band. Any band. Mm, let's say one from each different band. Mm, uh, let's see. And keep in mind, I you're looking like to, to see shoot. the Call of Cthulhu from. Metallica. Okay. That's a good uh, choice. The, the let me see. Prowler from Iron Maiden too. Okay, yeah. I like that. I don't I don't know if you know that song, Prowler. Yeah, yeah. Oh that's that's good. Uh, and Blood of the Kings from Manowar. That would be very good too. Well, that one I don't know. Life. Lord of the Kings for Men of War. That chat, is that a good pick? I like that one. I Man, think... Man of War is so good, man. It's crazy. They they are not uh, respected, you know. Yeah, I guess not. Um, I don't. I think I listened to a couple of their songs. That was about it. I, but it wasn't really. Uh, I didn't really follow up on it. So good with the power metal. Mm -hmm. Let's see. The, the audio is cutting now. Let me see. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So uh, th those three picks, though, sound pretty good. I, I need to check out Man of War. Uh, what was that song you said? I got to make sure I check it out. Blood of, Blood of the Kings. Lord of the Kings. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Let's see. One other question I have. This is kind of more like a random fun one. Okay. Um, there's a, okay. <clears throat> there's a rumor that one of the members of the band um, got caught doing something mischievous, like mildly mischievous. Uh, which member of the band do you think that is? Mischievous, mischievous. Hmm. It must be Asami. <laughs> Asami, Asami. Mm. Oh, Fred Evil Sight. <laughs> Why Asami? Oh, because she's la like she's hiding a, a secret sight. Oh, so. she's hiding a secret, huh? You can't be that that nice all the time. <laughs> oh no, you can't. Can you? There has to be something. Oh, all right. <laughs> so there, there has to be a, dar a dark Asami hidden behind or something. Oh man! Oh, uh, yeah. Asami's a good choice. Asami is. I mean, if we were to be like, okay, okay, wait, hold on. With the five members of the band, Among Us is so old now, no one cares. But okay, let's say it was like Among Us. You remember that that game, that meme game? Um, you played it before, right? Which one? No. Uh, Among Us. What game? 
Among uh, Us. The Among I know yeah, I know yeah. what game it is. Yeah. I have not played it, but Okay. Yeah. The whole idea is one of them's an imposter. And yeah. Pretty much a murder mystery. Yeah. Okay. So let's say um you're on a ship with the Love Bites crew, uh, Love Bites members. Uh, there was a dead body reported. Who do you think could have done it? Mm. Who is the hiding the, the traitor? Let me I don't see. know. It'd be like, ooh, Fa I don't know. Fa Fami is hiding something. <laughs> Fami is hiding something. Uh, she, you'd be kind of sus about her, huh? Yeah. Mm. Uh, murder mystery. She's, uh, so, smiley, so smiley all the time. What's happening here? Yeah. But maybe maybe she's doing that too uh, because she knows the truth. Okay. Maybe maybe you just have to question her. And be like, hey, what's going on here? <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. The investigator? Yeah, yeah. Uh, she'd be, mm. she, she, she could be covering for someone. It is always the one that you less expect. So maybe it's Haruna. <laughs> Haruna. Yeah, I think so. I think so. It could be. I mean, Midori would be busy working, doing something. Okay? She doesn't have time for that. Yeah. She's in the gym <laughs> room of the it spaceship. Was, <laughs> uh, the psychiatrist says it was Sugiyama all along. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real culprit. That was the real murderer. The scooby doo man. Behind he was hiding behind in some place. And no <laughs> yeah. one saw him. Uh -huh. uh, Repo Bob said Miyako. She planned everything during one of her solo. Yeah. Uh, well, Miyako, uh, Miyako would be an obvious choice, I think. Uh, she's the planner, you know? Mm. But it, uh, she would she would know who it is, but she's not going to tell you. Unless you you earn it. Maybe if you earn working hard, they, she will tell you. Yeah. I suppose so. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Effective planning. Very effective planning. Yeah. Let's see. I think that's about it, man. I think that is. We talked about Love Bites quite a bit here. Uh, we're just kind of chilling here. Just talking about Love Bites. Um, I know a lot of people here in the chat are from the Love Bites Discord, but for anyone else who, I mean, isn't, I mean, you, you, I think it's you who runs that thing, right? I mean, you've run the Discord. Well, it's four guys now doing the moderation, but yeah, I am the guy that opened it. So that's pretty cool, yeah. man. It's, it's a place for for the community to organize stuff and meet, and it's a good tool for the. the this tour has been very useful, I think, for sharing photos to so people could organize themselves to meet each other in the shows. So yeah. Yeah, I'm proud to have it made it because it has been very helpful for a lot of people. Yeah. But Man, yeah, it's, like, it's, uh, that's really cool for, for everyone. I mean, that's that's mm. <laughs> that's really cool that you did that, uh, that you do that, I should say, uh, because it does mm. give a place for for us to meet up and talk and and all that. And, and as far as meeting in real life, um, I, I've even had that experience uh, with the Love Bites Discord with uh, another band. Um, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna mispronounce it. I know you've been saying it the correct correct way. Hannah B. A. Is that it? Hannah B. A. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the Yokina band. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. But yeah, it was there. Mm -hmm. uh, got to see. Uh, got to meet. Uh, I think uh, uh, Patrick. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Patrick is from Houston too, I think. Yeah, so. yeah. I didn't want to dox him. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It's fine. It's fine. Houston's pretty big, and he's not really in Houston. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I That's know right. he's from there, from Texas. <laughs> that is true. And Texas is massive as well. Uh, but it was great <laughs> talking with you, Hades. Uh, I can't wait to experience Love Bites myself. Got tickets for Dallas. I'm excited about that. That's a lot of fun, man. It will be a great show. Yeah, I, I think I think a lot of people are going to be there. Uh, a lot of people from the Discord, so it's going to be very fun. Yeah, and because they are only doing 
they are not doing this code, so they are going to be getting a lot of people from there, I think, because they are doing California too, but yeah. So uh, they, apart from that, it's only uh, in Texas, the, the other show that's closer. Yeah, so you got to think, like, that one spot in Dallas is going to have a lot of people pulled from, you know, areas around it. Their Love Bites fans wanted to go there. So, and there's a good chance I might run into, you know, Patrick H or might run into other people that I've seen before with other bands. Uh I think I, yeah. I think last year when I was watching all these, you know, catching all these bands, I was running into the same people. I was like, oh, hey, hey, we were at the Godric Spin. I remember from Godric Spin, or I remember, I remember you from the Baby Metal show. Yeah, okay. Yeah, in the end, it's the same people following all these bands. So yeah, no, I'm, maybe Love Bites has a lot of fans, but you will fi find people that's a big nemophila that also come to see Love Bites and stuff like this. So yeah, it's it's a good chance to to meet people and start to do a community in real life too because we, we have had this thing in baby metal that uh, everyone knows each other in, mm -hmm. and before going to the shows uh, everyone already has friends for the shows and everything but yeah, for that, love that bites or other or other bands but maybe 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 but for the rest of the bands this thing doesn't exist so maybe we can start to to pull something like this for love bites now hopefully hopefully i have another question by uh, from repo he says uh, can hades talk about his youtube channel and say what the videos are about uh, yeah i made a little youtube channel that uh, makes stops for the most viewed uh, videos each month or each year that's called rockun made it's not a big thing no i don't expect to get a lot of visits or anything but it's a fun watch wait it does it does what now Top ten for songs in the Japanese music scene. Okay. Then, or it orders maybe the ten most viewed videos every month in in May in June, and this way people can find new bands that they have not seen or maybe they have missed oh. something this month. Uh, so I need to I need fun. to check out your channel, and that could be a guide for what bands I should I should definitely be checking maybe. out. Maybe. Maybe you can see if you have missed something important a month or something. Yeah. Let's see. I pulled up your channel now. I'm not a subscriber, but now I am. Okay. Top ah, 30. Top 10. Okay. I see here. Top 30 of 2020. Uh, I know. A, I remember some of these bands. I recognize them. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why. It's, I our, it's our bands. Yeah. It's our bands. That's pretty cool. Man, oh, good shout out there, man. Oh, you even have that, oh, what's that band? I don't know their name. That's like two guys, a bass player and a guitarist. Is there more? Uh, only only that. Well, I guess there are other members. But, uh, well, I guess there are other members. There have to be. There's someone, there's someone's drumming. Um... I think it's really just three, uh, right? A bassist, a guitarist, and a drummer. And like the um, the bassist looks like uh, kind of like Uncle Fester from the Adams Family. Like like he's all like ah uh, yeah, all Ninge white. Ninge <laughs> yeah, yeah, with a black lipstick and Ninge stuff. Ninge yeah. yeah. Oh, they are great, those guys, man. Uh, they they are so cool. You don't expect it, but the music is so good, Ren. Dude, the music, yeah, it's it's like a full-on story. Um, I, I only reacted to a couple of songs, I think, but like, like it, like it, the music grips you. Yeah, and it's perfect. I like to put uh, Ninge Nisu when I'm cooking on the background because it's very. It doesn't really have a song that stands out, but the whole albums are flawless. Yeah. And it's great for having on the background. All right. All right. Cool. Well, this was good, man. I'm glad we got the chance to shout out your channel. That's that's good. Let me uh, make sure I put it on the screen here. Uh, one second. Well, that's not it. There we go. All right. Yeah, definitely check out this channel here. I think so. Yeah, someone did put it in the chat there. That's great. Uh, Rock Numi. All right. Very fun. Very cool. 
All right. Well, uh, Hades, well, it was good talk with you, man. At a, I thought it was pretty chill. Um, okay, man. Thank you for having me. Hey, no, no problem. It was a pleasure to to come to you to your podcast or the program. <laughs> oh, that's no problem, man. I have you on any time. Uh, if you ever want to talk about talk about Love Bites some more or, or one of the other bands we like, uh, feel free to, and uh, we could do that. Okay. You know where to find me. I'm around. Yeah. All right, man. And shout out to everybody in the chat. And uh, if you want to, you could uh, follow or uh, even subscribe on uh, Twitch if you would like to. It'd be really cool. At four subs now, it'd be really cool to get 10. I don't know what's something. Maybe we could do something amazing if we get 10. Uh, whatever you guys want to do, really. Uh, with that said, going to be wrapping up here. And uh, y'all take it easy, all right? Ha, ha, ha.